Call the meeting in order for Monday, September 19th, 2016. Please rise for the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Alderman Dennis Moody will lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day that you have given us. We thank you for all of your blessings. We ask you to be with those in Dyersburg and the surrounding area that have lost loved ones, comfort their family, be with those that are sick. We ask you to be with us through this meeting this evening and give us wisdom and watch over, guide us, and direct us. These things we ask in thy name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Uh, next item on the agenda, roll call. Please show all present, with the exception of Terry Glover and Robert Taylor, Jr. Next item on the agenda, approval of minutes. Entertain a motion to approve the minutes from September 6, 2016. So moved. Have a motion from Carolyn Norman. Is there a second? Second from Bill Eskew. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Unfinished business. Is there any unfinished business? <clears throat> New business. Under new business, have a public hearing, a beer permit for the bus stop, LLC, located at 304 West Court Street, Dyersburg, Tennessee, 38024. Uh, it was properly advertised. Chief. Good evening. Thank you. Background investigation has been completed for the bus stop located at 304 West Court Street. Uh, the permit is uh, for sale of beer for on-premise consumption. I'd also like to add that this establishment has been approved and received a liquor by the drink permit from the Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission. Um, there's no reason, uh, based on the background investigation, to deny the applicant the beer permit for on-premise consumption. So move, we approve. Have a motion from Kevin Cheney. Is there a second? Second. Second from Bob Kirk. This is a public hearing. Anybody in the audience wish to speak to it? Okay, have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Chief. <coughs> Next item on the agenda, attorney invoice. Your attorney invoice was attached. That amounts $16,800. I'd entertain a motion to approve that. So moved. Motion from Mike Morgan. Is there a second? Second. Second from Bob Kirk. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Biz, Greg Williams, no bids tonight. Next item on the general report from Alderman, Bob Kirk. Uh, yeah, thank you, Mayor. Uh, I want to take a brief moment, if I could. Uh, I wrote a letter to the editor yesterday, and I want to make sure that the board, many who do not subscribe to the State Gazette, are aware of this um, particular project that's going on. And if I could, with your permission, I'd like to read the letter that I submitted to the State Gazette as a letter to the editor in um, Sunday's paper. There's an effort being made by a group of citizens to rename a portion of Stadium Drive at Dyersburg High School to Bill Revell Stadium Drive. I am proud to add my name as an endorser for this project, as are many others I have talked with. For over 50 years, Bill was a fixture at DHS home football games, pulling the down chains on the sideline. He never failed to perform this task enthusiastically. Bill Revell was Dyersburg City Mayor for over 25 years. His support for education and his loyalty to DHS never wavered. The Dyersburg School Board has the authority and responsibility to grant this request as they have done with naming other entities at the school. There will be no cost to the school system. This request will be considered at the school board meeting on October the 10th. I hope you feel, as I do, that this request should be granted to honor a loyal and dedicated public servant of our community. I uh, ask that you please contact the, the school board members if you support the project. They are Dr. Scott Self, Chairman, Carlos Doss, Carrie Newsom, Courtney Patrick, Dr. Matt Tice, Glenn Twilla, and Joe Yates. I thank you for your consideration of this worthwhile dedication, and I signed it respectively, Bob Kirk Alderman. And I would hope that uh, the many on this board who have known and worked with Bill and known of his uh, enthusiastic endorsement of uh, the education system and for the uh, uh, athletic team at Dyersburg High School would 
favorably consider this request and contact the school board member and ask them to consider this uh, favorably on uh, October the 10th. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Mr. Eskew? I don't have anything, Mayor. Kevin? I don't have anything, thank you. Mike? I have nothing. Mr. Moody? Um, Bob, thank you for that. I, I think I have to agree with you. I want to encourage all the citizens of Dyersburg to call the school board members and encourage them to vote and pass this to name this after former Mayor Bill Revelle. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Carolyn? Nothing, sir. Uh, just a couple of things. Uh, Main Street Fall Festival will be this Saturday, uh, September, 24, September 24th at the uh, Downtown River Park Farmers Market. Uh, Farmers Market will begin at 5 a.m go to 3 p.m. There's lots of uh, events that day downtown, car show, uh, pet show, kids, uh, games, uh, music. Uh, so I'd encourage everybody to attend that. And also, <clears throat> let's remember uh, Lieutenant Jenny Spence. She is a longtime employee of the city of Dyersburg Police Department. She's battling some illnesses um, again, and um, she's at Dyersburg Manor. So I'll just ask that this board and, and, and employees of the city of Dyersburg and uh, our citizens remember her as she goes uh, through this battle. So just keep her in your thoughts and prayers in her family. And with that, we're adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>